beginning of his exercise. To remedy this light of hand, I combined Dean's lactate graph with his heart rate data and speed data from these two charts that you see in the show. But Joe does not reveal this. He doesn't point out Dean's last two speed points spike Dean's lactate production. We've been getting a blood lactate data point every three minutes. And the last two readings are actually going down. So we're going to be working Dean about an eight miles per hour pace. The doctors want to find out if Dean really could run forever. In the beginning of the show, they hook him up to the tubes to do an RER test. The purpose of doing that, taking him up to eight miles per hour, is to find out also where his lactate threshold is. So later in the show, when they actually do his lactate threshold test, they already know where to stop him. So it was determined beforehand of what point they would not push him past. That way, they made it seem like Dean can run forever. An eight miles per hour pace, an eight miles per hour pace, an eight miles per hour pace. Holy heart failure! This guy's a raw specimen. RER 1.15, this is amazing. RER 163. only hold that a couple minutes and then they stop. And if so, the secret behind his incredible endurance. So let me get a, a I'm going to take a baseline of your uh, blood lactate level as well, okay, Dean? Sure. In search of answers, the doctors decide to perform a lactate analysis test. How are you feeling right now, Dean? Uh, six. Six, yeah. The test will measure the buildup of lactic acid in Dean's blood as Joseph and Dr. Zarens deliberately increase the levels of physical exertion. Are right, you going to jump off there, Dean? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Lactic acid is a byproduct of our muscles burning fuel and energy from the body. Remember, glycolysis is anaerobic. It is a fermentation reaction. Oxygen is not needed. This happens in the cytosol of the cell. They never take Dean into glycolysis. They keep him in the aerobic, so-called fat burning zone the entire time, except at the end when they exceed his lactate threshold, just for a moment, and then they cut the test. How are you feeling now, Dean? Uh, I would say about eight. As the levels of lactic acid increase, the more fatigued our muscles become. How are you feeling now, Dean? Uh, I would say I've gone up to about 10 this time. Okay. They tire, begin to cramp, and ultimately render the human body incapable of taking another step. How are you feeling now? Uh, Maybe 12, maybe 13, maybe 12. Okay. 12. 12? Yeah. But as the test continues, the doctors notice something unexpected. His lactate levels are not rising very much, which is very unusual, even though we're increasing the intensity. It's completely normal and ordinary to hold lactate levels steady and low. And things soon become even more extraordinary. This is absolutely amazing. His lactate levels are not rising. Usually you would see an inflection and a rise as we increase exercise intensity, but he's actually clearing that lactate.
Amazingly, despite the increase in exercise, it seems the levels of lactic acid in Dean's blood are not rising. Dean's level kept rising past 6.5 miles per hour. He hits his steady state, his maximum level steady state, a minor dip, and then it takes off above 4 at a heart rate of 150 beats per minute. He's been running now for 24 minutes, and we've been getting a blood lactate data point every three minutes. And in the last two readings are actually going down. This is extremely unusual. Sixteen thousand meters later, almost ten miles, these runners stay below lactic acid threshold. Running 9.4 miles per hour, 1.4 miles per hour faster than Dean at his lactate threshold, equating to a 248 marathon, which explains why Dean almost never wins competitive races. And he owns no world records. He makes up his own categories. I have an article on this if you want to see it. And goes against everything we understand about human biology. 2.1. 2.1. 2.1. Oh so did it just drop? Just drop again. Just drop again. So how are we going to get this guy's threshold? He's clearing that lactate. We're trying to wait for an inflection. At this pace and intensity, most people are up higher than four. This is a totally superhuman yeah. experience we're having right yeah. here. Really, he could run forever. His, and there's nothing stopping him. His lactate levels are now, how you feel now? Far lower than they were in the very, very beginning of his exercise. It is normal to spike and then drop and hold steady. These bozos stop the test as soon as Dean spikes. This graph shows all the data points put together on one page. Incredibly, it seems we've uncovered the unique physical power that allows Dean to just keep on going. His extraordinary ability to reduce the level of lactic acid in his blood defies human biology and shows he could really run forever. I mean, have you ever seen results like this before? Never. Never? Have you? No. <laughs> I don't know if that should make me feel good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah.